Hello. Growing potatoes that have been cut in half. Why do we do that? I don't know. But I'm going to give it a shot. I've done this before, I know it works. And I've also watched the videos on YouTube of people cutting potatoes in half. Um, quite a few of them don't seem to get much further than the kitchen and a big sharp knife and some potatoes cut in half. Um, but some do and, and yeah, some get results and I've had results. But one thing I've never been sure of is why do we actually do this? And I've looked at the videos on YouTube and nobody actually explains why they do this, why does anybody do this? And the previous video that I put up about cutting potatoes in half and growing the two potato halves, um, in all the correspondences I got back, there were lots of people who would tell me, well, that's how my dad did it. And there's lots of people who would tell me, well, that's how my granddad did it. But they would never really explain why they did it that way. And I'm not too sure they actually asked the question at the time or whether the dad or the granddad actually told them why he was doing it that way. If you know why people would cut potatoes in half to grow them rather than just growing a potato, come back in the comments and tell us. Right, so what we're going to do today, well I'm going to um, cut these, one of these potatoes in half and that'll be grown on as two halves and I'm leaving one potato whole. Now these chits are fairly close together at the top and what I need to do is I need to get some chits on each half of the potato. Um, so this, this video could end quite suddenly actually. If I make a mess of this, I can't do it because these are the last two potatoes I've got. So I'll put that one to one side and we'll try and cut this one in half and leave a, a chit on both sides. Now the other thing I would say here is that if there are chits all over the place you can cut a potato into more than a half. You can cut it into thirds, you can cut it into quarters. You can cut it into ma as many pieces as you like as long as there's a chit. I'm not too sure what they'll grow bearing in mind there won't be much potato left to support the plant as it gets bigger. Done it. How's that? Chits on this half, chits on this half. Now what I intend to do now is I'm going to leave these uh, in the greenhouse to scab over, to dry over before I plant them. Um, I'm going to move them to one side now and I'm going to bring the buckets in uh, and explain how we're going to conduct this little trial. Okay, let me just move these to one side and we'll go and get the buckets. These are the buckets we're going to be using. They're 10 litre water buckets. There's three in this stack. I'll just split them. I don't know that I get all three in shot. But there are three water buckets and we're going to need three. Let me just put two to one side. So, if we're growing a single potato, then we need one bucket. We need one bucket that holds 10 litres of mix. And this bucket requires an area to stand on of about 10 square inches. So that's what we require to grow one potato. So what do we need to grow two potatoes? Let's bring another bucket into shot. Right. So for two potatoes, we need two buckets, but we're going to be using half potatoes. We're going to plant half in this bucket and half in this bucket. We're going to need 
a mix to fill this bucket and a mix to fill this bucket. So we're going to need 20 litres. That's double the amount of the 10 litres we needed to grow just the one potato. So right away we need 20 litres of mix which is twice the amount for one potato and we need two buckets which is twice the amount that we need for one potato. And if we're going to give these potatoes a fighting chance we best give them a little bit of fertiliser. We'll put something in there. It doesn't matter what we use, the maths is still the same. Whatever we use for one, we'll put the same amount in for two. So we need twice the amount of fertiliser. And to position these buckets on an area of ground, we need an area of ground not 10 square inches, but we need two areas of 10 square inches, don't we? So we need twice the amount of mix, we need twice the number of buckets, we need twice the area to stand them on. To make this worthwhile, does that mean we need to get twice as many potatoes in return from the two half potatoes as we get from the one potato? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think would make this experiment worthwhile? Well, you've saw the buckets. You've saw the potatoes. Now all we've got to do is wait a few days for these to scab over and then we'll plant them. The potatoes have uh, scabbed over nicely. They're quite uh, dry to the touch now, uh, so we're ready to put these up. Problem is, it's still so cold here at homegrown veg in the United Kingdom. I want to keep these guys indoors a bit longer, I want to keep them in the greenhouse. But I've got buckets everywhere. I've got buckets with carrots in, beetroot in, potatoes in, leeks in. Man alive, I can't move for buckets. There isn't enough room in this greenhouse to swing a cat round. It's only an 8 by 6 greenhouse and so I just don't have the room for three more buckets. I just don't have the room. And I don't want to put them outside because it's too cold. I want them to stay in here for a while till the weather picks up. So as an interim measure, as a stopgap, we're going to plant them in these yoghurt pots. I can keep three yoghurt pots in the greenhouse, that's not a problem, but I can't get another three of those 10 inch buckets in the greenhouse. So we plant them in the yoghurt pots, we'll keep these in the greenhouse until these potatoes get bigger, uh, and when they become a potato plant, we'll plant them up into the buckets, and hopefully by that time they can go outside. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it. What have I wrote on here? Half, half, full. Right, we'll do the full one first, the full potato first. A little bit of compost in the bottom. As you can see, these have got holes in. Um, so we've put some soil in the bottom. We'll just sit this potato on it, like that. Okay, just sat on it nicely, and we'll just fill it up, like that, shake it in, one down, right, this one is for half a potato, oh and incidentally what I'm going to do is, Hold on, we'll need, this is a bit of a balancing act because it's only half a potato. Um, what I'm going to do is, the best bit of this growing potatoes is definitely the harvest, isn't it? I mean, we're okay planting them, but really what you want to see is potatoes being harvested. Well, there's no potatoes being harvested yet 
this year to eat at home grown veg but we'd harvested a lot of potatoes over the years here at home grown veg and we've done this experiment once before now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a link to a video on this table when we get finished um, that'll take you to a video that I done um, about four years ago and you will see a reveal um, and from recollection I don't think there was an actual conclusion um, in fact I'm fairly sure <laughs> in fairly sure I copped out and said well to, to my subscribers and viewers alike what do you think well, what what's the conclusion are you um, because I just emptied um, three buckets of potatoes one had a full potato sown in it and two had half potatoes sown in it um, and I weighed them on camera and then said hey what do you think um, and I got various responses to that okay so that's it um, and the next time you see these guys we'll probably be moving them up into those water buckets and then a few months later we'll be doing a reveal anyway that's the plan okay so this is homegrown veg signing out and I'm just about to leave you with that link to that video that shows you the end of an experiment just like this that I done about three or four years ago.